Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm just heading back home from walking the Walgreens, so I had to put some money on a prepaid debit card, so I'm ordering my Barbie tickets for the 410 show for next Sunday. Um, I usually just go to Indianapolis once a year for Indiana Comic Con, but I'm actually making a second trip. So, like a few weeks ago, um, me and uh, three of my really awesome friends were headed to Indianapolis, Indiana to see the 7 o'clock show of Oppenheimer. So we're doing the Barbieheimer double feature. So um, our show's at 7 for uh, Oppenheimer IMAX, 70 millimeter, which is amazing there's only 30 theaters in the world that's doing 70 millimeter and indianapolis has one of them and uh we're lucky enough to get tickets for sunday and uh barbie's at 410 so barbie's like two hours so it'll let out at 610 and then we're heading over to the museum <coughs> excuse me where the imax is uh, so Circle Center Mall, I, I don't know where the museum is, but it's, according to Google, it's only like five minute, five minute walk <coughs> from um, Circle Center Mall, so, <coughs> excuse me. So, and uh, what's awesome, all of us has got Barbie Heimer shirts, well, um, all of us ordered it or ordered shirts so hopefully they'll be here the two i ordered are supposed to be here like on the 18th or the 20th so it's cutting it close so um i think obviously barbie's going to be the more fun movie but overall the better movie is going to be oppenheimer i'm a huge christopher nolan fan so i mean obviously tenet is uh in my top five favorite movies of all time, non-comic book and Star Wars. Uh, Dark Knight, I love Dark Knight, Prestige, Batman Begins. So, um, but yeah, at first I was just like, eh, Barbie. Yeah. But then I kept seeing the trailers and it, I like Margot Robbie, I like Ryan Gosling. So I was like, this is gonna be funny. I don't think it's gonna be geared to uh, towards kids. I think there is definitely going to be a lot of adult jokes in the movie. So, but yeah, fun filled day, spending the whole day in Indy. Uh, we're leaving in the morning and uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe go to the zoo, uh, get a bite to eat, you know, um, walk around the mall or something. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. So, um, and we might actually be recording our first, like, test run podcast, too, which I'm going to take my tablet and uh, I'm just going to record the whole trip uh, going there or maybe even going there and going back. So depending how much battery I've got. So but yeah, I'm very excited. Next weekend, double feature. I haven't done the double feature uh, for movies in a long time, so um, are any of you guys or gals doing the Barbieheimer double feature, or are you just going to Barbie, or are you just going to Oppenheimer, and uh, Oppenheimer was in my honorable mention, and I think I said this before in a video, but that was before, when I was doing my most anticipated movies of 2024, that was before the trailer came out. So it was in my honorable mentions, but I knew I wanted to see it. But if I would have saw that trailer before, I would have done my most anticipated movies of 2024 easily. Easily Oppenheimer would be in my top five most anticipated. So I can't wait to do a non-spoiler uh, thoughts on Barbie and Oppenheimer. Um, I saw a report that AMC has sold uh, 20,000 tickets. It's probably obviously more. This was like a few days ago. So they sold like 20,000 tickets for the Barbie and Oppenheimer double feature. So um, I honestly think that both movies are going to do 
really well, but I think Barbie will probably do the more movie because do the, I mean Barbie will probably make the much more money because obviously it's geared to adults and you know parents are going to take their kids to it. They're going to take their grandparents who grew up with Barbies too. So I just feel like Barbie's going to make the most money, but I think Oppenheimer is going to be the better movie. So we'll find out. So uh, we'll find out. See which one's the better movie next weekend. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Take care, everybody.